Recording in progress, it says. Okay, hello, everybody. How are you? This is uh, our little Monday get-together, our pop-up show that we like to do. And we do it from uh, uh, New York City. And talk to... A, this is really a nice show. There's just a lot of nice people. If you're not nice, don't, don't think about calling. If you want to be combative, go somewhere else. That's not what this is about, okay? Okay. Um, uh, let's, uh, let me see here. Let me just uh, start bringing in some of these people. Admit all. Okay. I admit all. Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, uh, Charlene. How are you? Um, hey, uh, let's see here. Uh, Charlie, you there? Yeah, there we go. I, I have to turn my camera on every time now. Really? Well, that might be a new thing they're doing. Uh, we've got uh, we've got Edward Berger. That's right. That's right. Uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, Adrian's dad, uh, Brian. He's in a car traveling home. Are you in the uh, Tesla or what car are you driving tonight? Today, my daily driver, my Cadillac. Your, your oh, your Cadillac. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Mr. It's an old Cadillac. It's not fancy. Mr. Stop. Fancy Schmancy. Stop judging me. I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and hello to uh, our good friend uh, from uh, Cle uh, Cle Cle Cleveland. No, from uh, Akron. They get, yeah. they get it right? Yeah. Okay, finally, Levin. finally. Uh, Paul Levin. Uh, Len Shapiro. Hello, Len. Shapiro? <laughs> Len Frisco. And excuse me, it would be Shapiro. Shapiro if you're from Philadelphia. Yeah. Anyway, uh, hello, Charlene. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello to this old, old broad is my wife. <laughs> I thought you were hello, calling me an old broad. Hello to, hello to Mandy, <laughs> you know, who, uh, according to that guy on CNN, is Pastor Prime. So, you know. Uh, what? Well, it, didn't you hear what happened over CNN? The guy in the morning, and he talked about, it, it, he was replying to T Marjorie Taylor Greene's comments about how everybody over the age of 50 who's in Congress should get a you know, oh. sanity test or something. And he said, well, he said, all women over the, over 50 are, are not in their prime any longer. Really? And, uh, he got in trouble. He got suspended for a couple of days. Good. Everybody pissed and moaned. And then he got back on the air. So. Man, you're not over 50, are you? Yes. You yeah. are? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, no. that'll make the rest of the women here feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel bad. I'm, I'm way over 50. <laughs> I am way, way over 50. <laughs> yeah, I think you're something like 52, right? Something like that. I think so. Almost 57. Really? 57? No. Yes. 57? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I might as well get in the grave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the shovel out. <laughs> oh, man. Uh -huh. You know, I, I, I take my mother every once in a while to visit my dad's. Uh, grave in uh, in Marin, and one day I saw a guy with. And she's ninety five, by the way. That's what makes this funny. I saw a guy with a shovel kind of heading our way, and I said, "Mom, you better hide. Here he comes." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh, boy. Uh, that's we have a very morbid sense of humor in this family. Well, no, that, no, that's good. That's good. You know, uh, that's the way it should be. Yeah, you know? I agree. Um. Yeah. Oh man. I'm, I'm, I, 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 every night to put myself to sleep, I take a, 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 a toke out of a vape mm. uh, uh, for pot. So it just puts it gives me a little edge to put me to sleep. Right. Well, this those vapes are strong. Mm. You know, and my I've had my my throat has been bothering me all day from taking it in last night. You know. So. What she said. Yeah. And my, <laughs> And Marjorie, well, Marjorie said to me, "You should just take a little bit in." And I'm yeah. like, "You can't do that. <laughs> you know, it's not going to work. You got actually in the old days, I could hold a toke for about a minute before I let it out. You know, Alex, you're not in the old days anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They've long passed. Edible. The That's the way to go. Edible. I do well, the edibles. Listen, I listen, 
L- listen, old broad. <laughs> you know, come on. What? I mean, I, I'm I'm okay for my age. You know what's what's wrong with your camera there? Whoa, Vernon! Vernon! Vernon's. Wow, that's a mess. <laughs> Vernon. Yeah, yeah. Um, you might try it again, Vernon. Um, just try signing back in. I think he's got his TikTok vi- his TikTok filter on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can I, can I can I tell you a quick story? Sure. Some people know because some people are Facebook friends with me. I hope I don't lose you guys, but uh, yeah, Adrian had a dance competition this weekend, yeah. and she won a scholarship. She won a scholarship to go to the nationals in San Diego. Wow! wow. Awesome! Wow, that's fantastic. That, that's, what, that's what buying her a pole did for her. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm going to tell her these stories where she. Uh, what? Hey, driving. I saw, I'm, I'm going to tell her these stories when she's older, so she's going to be upset with you. Yeah. And there's Mike Chisholm. He just joined us. I talked to Mike yesterday for about, what, two what, two hours did we talk? Oh. We went two hours yesterday, Alex. That was awesome. It was yeah, a really, really good podcast. So Alex is going to be this week's guest on the Letterman podcast. Oh, and, uh, nice. Yeah. yeah, it was it was really, really nice. And we talked all things, of course, Shecky, lots and lots and lots of Shecky, but also other broadcast stuff and Letterman stuff. And it was a, I thought it was a really, really nice call, man. Yeah. And the admission that I made that I'm gay now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few bombshell announcements and it's going to be amazing. Gave you a scoop, you know. <laughs> Oh, I, I never could be gay. I'm sorry. It's just yeah. not in me. Well. It's not uh, in my DNA. How's that? There you go. <laughs> this show is turning into an hour's worth of dick jokes. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I just couldn't. I, I couldn't get past stubble, you know, so... Anyway. Back in the day, you used to say you had bad gag reflexes, so you couldn't be gay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that from you. I, I remember did, that all this I, time. I didn't say that, did I? Yes, you did. <laughs> you were a big influence on me when I was younger. So when I, I thought that, I said, yeah. I was a big influence. That, that was an influence on you? <laughs> One of these stupid memories of your stuff all, from all the years, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I guess maybe I said that. That's very funny. Yeah, it's a, yeah I'll take credit for it then. Well, I think I said that because that's something you could get away with radio. Well, you right. can get with on radio. <laughs> saying, well, I have a bad gag reflex, and then everybody, there, he, there's his, his you got a problem again with your yeah, that camera. Is your just camera. Getting ready to die. <laughs> no, I, 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 I wish I uh, see. He's got, he's getting all kinds of other pictures in there. He's getting me. Yeah, it's getting, I think, somebody else too. Can you hear me okay? I can yeah, hear, you. hear you. I can hear yeah. you fine. Uh, oh, what's going on? I thought maybe my battery was slow, so I went and got the charger for the computer, but that didn't fix it. My other computer started doing that too. I had to switch, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, was the and, what? I, log, I logged out and logged back in thinking maybe that would do it. Too. Yeah, well, welcome to uh, Alex's tech support. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, well, you could you well uh, you could start it up again, but it, it it's it's something I'm trying to remember because sometimes it would happen with mine, but it only happened with mine when I had my uh, uh, camera hooked up to two outputs at the same mm. time. So it might be something else there. I don't know, but I'm not a, I I don't have your machine in front of me, so I don't know what to do. Yeah. Maybe his connection or this camera is is not all the way in or something. Yeah. Oh, the camera's the camera's built into the laptop. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 something. It could just it could resolve itself just by you know when you turn it back, uh, turn it off, turn it back on. It may resolve itself, you know. But I don't know. What do I know? I don't know from any. Uh-oh. of them. What? Who said that? I think Max said it was bad. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Uh, so um, uh, 
let me see here. What is there to talk about? Not too much. It's been a quiet week. Hmm? It's been I thought quiet Trump week. was supposed to get indicted this week or something. <laughs> no, he's supposed to be arrested tomorrow. Well, yeah. I hope he doesn't get arrested tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I want to make him look, I want him to look like crap to his people. Mm -hmm. You know, wait a week, wait a week, okay? Just wait a week and seem like nothing's going to happen, and then then lay it on him. Boom. You know, but him going, oh, they're going to arrest me on on th a Tuesday. Everybody, get ready to be out there in front of the uh, the courthouse. Blah 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 blah. I think we great if like five people show up. Yeah, you know. But I mean, I cannot wait to see him with handcuffs behind his back. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't I don't think they're going to do the perp walk with him. No, unfortunately. No. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when when they come out, when they come to the door, and Melania sees them coming, do you think she's going to say anything, or just like open the door and like? <laughs> she's going to invite him in for hot chocolate. You know. <laughs> Uh, on Friday, I just listened to Friday's show when I drove up to Lodi, and you guys were talking about uh, Stalin have a somebody have a heart attack and they just uh, sort of let him die. Well, Stalin, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stalin, yeah. So, so, do you think if if Melania and Trump were out and like he fell down in the house and started having a heart attack, do you think she called nine one one right away? No. Well, no. She, no. She, I, I, it's a question of how fast she can get to the phone. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Right. I mean, what I was talking about was Stalin when he died. He he had a heart attack or something. I can't remember what happened. You know, they may have poisoned him for all we know. Yeah. And I un and I understand that 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 Ivana died that way. She died by herself. Poor yeah, but she had fallen down the stairs or yeah. something. She got pushed down the stairs and they think of that. <laughs> <laughs> she was by herself on the bottom of that staircase. Yeah. But anyway, he buried so, her so, at, at his at his golf course so he could get the tax write off. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> yeah, that's what isn't but love I, wonderful? I have a anyway. question. How many former presidents do you think will attend Donald Trump's funeral? Zero. <laughs> that's an interesting question. I mean, isn't it? Is I've thought about it. I've because there's part of there's part of each of these people that's proud of their president of being president. And that so-called president's club who might feel they should show up anyway. Yeah, but right. Trump didn't show up for the last funeral. Who was it? Right. He, he didn't show Bush up for the inauguration either. either. Yeah. But he didn't show up for, he didn't know, he didn't show up for George Bush uh, seniors. Yeah. That's right. Right. So why should they show up for him? Yeah. You know, yeah, but two wrongs don't make a right. And I feel like these gentlemen that you're talking about all have the protocol kind of hardwired into oh, them. Oh, come I feel on, like Mike. He's would. a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You, no, right? I'm, saying, I'm saying that the other presidents, former presidents, all have that kind of hardwired into them. I, I would be very surprised if they didn't go. Yeah. No, they exclude him on oh, everything. Hey, here's why Here's why I don't believe in God. Okay, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> Trump is alive and Shecky is dead. Yeah, 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 no shit, right? Right. Amen. Yeah. I mean, um, shouldn't uh, what, what they used to say, uh, uh, you know, only the good die young. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous. You know, but anyway, I don't want to get into that. I've had enough of that for the last week. To yeah. For a lifetime. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. You know. Are okay. anybody here YouTube fans? Alex, he's a oh, fanatic. Man. What fan? You two? Oh no, 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 not me. The new Letterman U two special is pretty, pretty great. It looked pretty good, although I don't like U two. But I watched first. You like, don't like U two? What are you kidding no, no, me? No, no, U no, two, no. the band, the band, the U two. You the letter U oh, and the number. Oh, I thought you said U two. You know, Sonny Bono and his friends. <laughs> Letterman asked him a really tough question, uh, which I, I was shocked and very, very uh, excited that he asked him this question. He asked Bono if Bono ever did anything to embarrass his bandmates. And Bono said, yeah. And they went into this discussion about it. It was a pretty, pretty cool moment, I thought. I thought it was a courageous yeah, question. I'll tell you, though, where Dave's terrible. Did you see that him with Zelensky? Yes. Terrible. Terrible. Just terrible. What terrible. made that terrible? I'm curious. 
It's, it's just a bad interview. Right? Yes, and that, and that kind of oh, that, now your 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 camera looks good. What happened? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, 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 there it goes. I spoke too soon. Oh boy! Wow, that is uh, bad. No, I just felt that uh, he didn't know what the he he felt intimidated by the situation. He didn't know. Uh, uh, he felt intimidated by the fact that he was over his head. This was not the kind of interview he should be doing. And he didn't ask good questions. He asked terrible questions. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, um, uh, and then when he went into that Oprah Uma thing, that didn't work at oh, all. Geez. I'm talking about, uh, anyway, he, uh, he but uh, I watched the beginning of that thing. It looked like it'd be interesting because a lot of it had to do with like the troubles in Belfast and Belfast and stuff yep. like that, you know. And and it looks like it could be interesting from that standpoint. So I may watch it at some point. Yeah. Um, and it, for those who do enjoy U2's music, the music was very special. It was it, it was it was good. Yeah. Well, the thing I don't like about YouTube is Bono came to San Francisco a few years back. Do you guys remember this? And then they they held a, a, a I don't know it was a free concert or something. Oh yeah. Uh, down by the down near the ferry building. I can't remember the name of that plaza there. Just, Justin Herman Plaza. Justin Herman Plaza. Yeah. And um, <coughs> he held, they held their, uh, uh, but before they did it, there's this big piece of sculpture there. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. took out spray paint and started defacing it. Mm -hmm. And then saying, oh. this is the worst piece of art I've ever seen. And he's defacing it. And I went, that's it. Yeah. I, you know, I don't want anything to do with these people. You know, don't come to my town to face my artwork and then tell me it's not great art and you're being the uh, the art critic by, you know, spray painting it. I've yeah. never heard that story. Oh, I, re I remember it fervently when it happened. That was a that was certainly a while. Was that the 90s, maybe? 80s, 90s? It was a long time. Probably the oh. 1800s if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was uh, it was something like the '80s. Yeah, it was. I think it was in my first uh, pass at uh, Live 105. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it just it just made me very. It, I was mad about that. I just I said, "How dare you?" You know, it, it's not right. You may not like that work of art. That's your that's your opinion. Everybody has an opinion about art, but what you don't have the right to do is to deface it. Yeah. Let people just, you know, be able to see it and make their own judgment. You know, so anyway. How's everything in Georgia? The only one person I could be talking to. Are you guys, are you, are you, are you guys ready to indict down there? <laughs> she see, still has her mute on. The, the, All right. reason, the reason I'm hoping uh, that that uh, they do indict him here in Manhattan is it will make all the other possible prosecutions bolder. In other words, Georgia might say, "Okay, now we'll do it," and then and that's the more like ours is a more juicy charge. It really yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. It was funny, and we don't talk politics much on this show, and this isn't you know this is just lightly touching on politics. But they found another phone conversation. Yeah, the really conversation together. he averaged said, can you go out and find another, I don't know, X number of votes? He called the head of the, the Secretary of State, I think, mm -hmm. in Georgia, and did yeah. the same thing. And the irony is that the Secretary of State uh, died, uh, um, and that was before they found this phone conversation. So mm -hmm. the, the speculation is that, that uh, Trump thought he got away with that phone call, and that, <laughs> that turned out. Isn't that nice? It's wonderful. <laughs> okay. uh, anyway, uh, thought, Bono, um, yeah. what were you saying? What were you saying, Mandy? Oh, he, the Secretary of State, died in Georgia. I don't yeah. think he did. Did he? I uh, never heard that. No, it wasn't the Secretary of State. It was somebody it was, else. It wasn't the Secretary of State. It was no. That was it was. But well, I'm it trying was, to remember what that second who that second phone call was to. It was whoever he had the second phone call okay. with. So okay. He, okay. So he died. Who did he have the third conversation with? That I don't know. That, that we don't know. Yeah. So what are you working on today, Mandy? Um, 
the usual taxes <laughs> taxes <laughs> taxes you, 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 uh, you taxes oh yeah okay you know uh do you enjoy the job sure yeah yeah he's busy that's for sure see i never could you know bookkeeping has always been something that i've gone like i could never do that you know and yet my business manager loves doing it <laughs> done it all his life you know yeah you have to have a certain personality probably and you're good with numbers i hope i guess <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Numbers are my life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, anybody see any good movies, any good TV? We've seen a lot of bad. We're what? watching uh, um, Poker Face on, on yeah. Peacock right now. Very yeah. good. We watched that. We watched yeah. the whole thing. Oops, the yeah. last episode is very good. Yeah, we just finished it as well. It's excellent. Yeah, yeah. There it's were actually a couple the, a the best late. one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, I um, uh, anybody here see uh, uh, The Last of Us? I'm gonna start it after we talk today. Oh, yeah, start right it. now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing much happens here, you're not gonna miss much. It's more <laughs> interesting than the really. part of my week. You're not gonna miss much on The Last of Us either. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my you're the only person I know, Marjorie, that did not absolutely love that show. I I mean, I've talked to people. I've talked to people who are critical of everything. My friend uh, 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 Steve Weiner is critical of everything. But it's a and guy's it's, movie. It's not a guy's program. Yes, it is for the no, most part. Not. No, it's <laughs> not. What? what were you, you have about the game. That's why I didn't start watching. What? Alex watched the game. Sorry, do you have to know about the game? No, no. not no. at all. As a matter of fact, I'd almost say it's better if you don't know about the game. Oh, okay. Because then it 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 you watch it on its own terms. Yeah. When I watched it, I had to watch it twice. I'd watch it the night it ran, and then um, uh, I would uh, then say, "Well, here's what's different from the game," and blah 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 blah. And then I'd watch it with Marjorie, and I enjoyed it for what it was as a TV show with Marjorie. So that that really helped. But having played the game, I mean, a lot of it, like the last episode of that show is almost word for word the game. And you may even have wondered where the giraffes came from and they came from the game. Uh, you know, so I mean, because- Well, now it, I don't have to watch it because you said the end. <laughs> uh, let's just a little yeah, you, that's a hell of a spoiler about the giraffes but everybody goes why why the giraffes and the thing is they are very prominent in the game and a very favorite part of that game uh, but, that but people I, love. I also like the i also like the behind the scenes they've been doing they sort yeah. of they sort you of gotta really watch the behind the scenes story yeah, so they sort of tell you a little bit with a story. And so and, and I like that, hearing it from those guys, too. I think the thing my friend uh, uh, Steve Weiner said that what he really loved about it was is that a show like that usually doesn't have a moral question that it asks at the end. Mm -hmm. And this, this ended with a major moral question. Uh, and uh, I, I, that, that's what I think everybody has loved about this show is it was just better than it had to be. Now, I don't know about the next year because that's going to be the second game and the second game is a different animal. Uh, and it's, it's more about revenge than it is about, you know, father, child love, you know, the relationship between a child and her, her whoever her guardian happens to be. So... And I wonder if uh, Pedro Pascal is tired of taking little children around the universe. <laughs> Baby Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody named David Gwynn. Does anybody know a David Gwynn wants to get on here? And I think that's maybe one of those phony people that, you know, passes across porn. So, David, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> you just get lost okay because i don't know who you are i really you know i'm very paranoid about that these days is there a thing called zoom bombing have you heard of this yeah mm -hmm. and what they do is they come on and then i answer it and then they start running porn 
you know. Well, it might be more interesting than what we're talking about. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Well, you know what's funny? What's funny? You'll love this, Edward. Uh, the other night. Yeah, I know. I, I watched it. Did you call my show? No, no, it's not me. It's, a, it's an imposter. What yeah. they did is they took all the names from this show and yeah, tried I know. To post, uh, get get me to answer by, by posting. And I'm going, well, I know Edward Berger wouldn't call this show. Right. And I know that, uh, you know, Len LaFrisco never calls this show, the, 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 the nighttime show. Wow. And I think, who else did they have? I think they may, Mandy may have made the uh, cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, they had Marjorie Miller call in, too. Oh, yeah, they don't call it, and I and I, and I, I, I yelled out the door. It was a joke. I yelled out there, Marjorie, are you awake? And I said, no, she's not awake. That's not Marjorie. Which show is this? I want to watch this back. <laughs> this, is a, this is a nighttime show. It was a real Friday, 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 wasn't it? Yeah. Friday? Friday. Okay, Friday. now hold on a second. David's iPad. <laughs> Hello, no. David, is there a David that calls the show? No. 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 Let that, him they just called you. David. Don't let, let him that in. David Wynn guy just on the iPad now? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, it could be somebody who wants to. You know. Don't you put it on, on Facebook that people can click on if they like? Yeah. 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 Well, you can always uh, shut us down and take a look. Well, we can no. all close our eyes. <laughs> what, I usually, what I usually do on the nighttime show because I run it through a thing called OBS. I don't do yeah. it. this show isn't done by that. I didn't oh. generally just go to my face, you know. Mm. Um, but uh, David's iPad. Eh. Just leave it, Alex. No, oh, well, you know. Well, let me just get rid of them, and then <laughs> if, tell, if tell they, him, tell uh, him to email you, know, you in advance. We paid our yeah. dues, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, David, if you're listening to me, uh, put a last name on it or something. If you're somebody that I know, otherwise, screw Goodbye. off. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> no, but anyway, so Marjorie's the only person in America who didn't like The Last of Us. I mean, she, yeah, apparently, you know. Hey. She just, she, you know, but it, it really you don't have to know the game. In fact, it's better if you don't know the game. You, but I watched you, the whole first season with him. I agreed I would do that, but that's it. No second season. You thought it ended okay. You enjoyed the ending on it. Well, compared to the rest of it, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was over. He was happy it was over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But all I, I know I've is. I never played the game. I never saw the game, but I love. I like it a lot. It was yeah. Yeah. I like well, sort of how they, they sort of go back and they show you, you know, different parts of time, how things sort of started too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was, a, I, I thought it was very good. And, and uh, what a lot of people are doing now, who, who could have thought this would happen? A lot of people are going to play the game now mm -hmm. uh, because the game is a, it's a good game. You know, it's worth playing. Especially this first one. It's a short game. It's not really a long game. Not the second, the second one they turned out is double the length of the first one. That's why they're going to get two or three seasons out of it. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's a slightly different animal. Uh, she's grown up, she's about five years older, you know. And I won't tell you what else happens, but if you played the game. The big game is the biggest spoiler. If you play the game, it's the biggest yeah. spoiler. So how's everything in Canada up there? I'm doing well. Um, I was on three hours of, uh, on a tech support call today. So that obviously stole a significant portion of my soul. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. What was the tech support problem? All right. Well, so our company email, which we've had from the very beginning, switched providers from a place called Smarshmail over to Outlook. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, there's a lot of emails that have been there the last 12, 13 years that we can't mi migrate over. And so the call was to try and figure out a way to migrate it. So it was a three hour call and it was unsuccessful. You know what they get, uh, how they get you these days is, is exactly that way. When you migrate, you lose all the technology that you had before. You should be able to like, 
if I go from one system to another, I should be able to take all my old email files. With yep. But if I, if I right now, if I quit, uh, uh, let's say Apple. Okay. Uh, if I were to quit Apple, uh, I would lose all the stuff I have stored in in uh, and archived in 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 the Apple system. However, yep. that is probably is never going to happen because I'm never getting out of the you know Apple ecosystem. So I get the email as part of it. Apple, yeah. Outlook is Microsoft, isn't it? Outlook yeah. is Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it it it's just a matter of. That, that you should be able to, if you suddenly decide you don't want to use the email you've been using, all of that should be able to migrate over to the next place you're going to. Totally. You know, yeah. and there are no laws in that respect that I know of. Well, it was the same way the way telephones were years and years and years ago, where if you moved or if you went somewhere else, you had to get a new phone number. That's right. Yeah. Just like yeah. That. yeah, absolutely. And now, of course, you keep your phone number forever forever. forever it's like they were they were thinking of giving it out to you and making your social security number the same number as your phone number <laughs> I, I have a question how many yeah. people here still have a landline i'm one of them I I have one. Yeah. no we don't we do too in the in the office i don't use it but i have it too. <laughs> exactly. the landline no we don't have a landline. oh boy <laughs> <We're gonna prove laughs> Watch, she's going to go behind me and go find something. No, she doesn't. Marjorie, give up the I phone number. Let's have some line. fun. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I don't have a landline. What the fuck is this? <laughs> well, that's a phone that isn't hooked up right, to anything. That's a landline. Oh, oh, okay. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Anybody there? Boy, these things were heavy, weren't they? Yeah. I forgot it. You know why they were this heavy? They didn't have to be, but they made them this heavy uh, because they, um, uh, if you had them on a table and then you wanted to dial with the dial, if it were a little too light, the phone was too it light, slide, it slide all over the table. You know, and kids will never get the satisfaction of slamming the phone down. <laughs> <laughs> I get get rid of get get lost. <laughs> Marjorie, this is not plugged into anything. That's well, what but I it's have. still we, a landline. No, it just hasn't been plugged no, in. It's a <laughs> telephone. It, this is a telephone. The landline, the landline would be the telephone. thing that comes out the back of it and goes into the wall. Well, okay. it just has to be plugged okay. in. It's called a handset. <laughs> and why the hell did you? Why, hell why did do you have that? that? Yeah, why did you keep that? When I was living in that office years and years ago, I needed it. But that was before I ever met you. In yeah. fact, before the uh, plasticine era. <laughs> <laughs> I keep I keep I, I keep mine because I have a, a friend overseas that that, uh, uh, that that calls me, and uh, um, I don't think I could get um, I, I don't I'm not sure that I could get it on my cell phone, or it would cost too much money or something. No, 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 no. In these days and age, you can talk on the cell phone i suppose i could yeah but that's mm -hmm. that's my last my last uh reason for keeping it <laughs> well I, thought, I got rid of my landline because i i figured out that over five years the only thing i'd ever used my landline for was to locate my cell phone <laughs> <laughs> well here's the thing that happened with me is that i uh, i just uh a while back, I started looking at my phone bill. I was thinking of getting my Verizon bill down. And I looked and they, you know, they gave me a, a landline, a cell phone, VoIP cell phone, whatever. Okay. A cell phone number. So great. That's wonderful. I got a, it, 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 It's very good. I never used it. Marjorie never used it. So I went and I went to see, was it free? Was it gratis? Was it something they just gave me? No, they were charging me twenty five dollars a month for the Ooh. goddamn thing. Yeah. So of course my attitude on that was, screw you, and I canceled it uh, because they decided they want to start charging me for HBO. 
So I just went, well, then cancel that and give me the HBO and I'm, I'm be $10 to the good. Then yeah. I found out I could get HBO Max for free because I'm with AT&T. And one of the things you can do with AT&T is get it gratis. So I took that and told them, screw you for another $25. And I finally just got rid of everything. <laughs> and now I pay 89 bucks a month for this. We're not on cable thing. anymore. And we're not on cable anymore. And do you miss it? No. Anybody else pull the plug? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you miss it? Nope. Nope. Yeah. I mean, what? Uh, so I can get 400 channels I never watch? Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Plus, I got rid of all the boxes, and electrically, they were eating up $8 a month in electricity <laughs> on top of that. And how much for each box, Alex? Were we oh, and then they were charging us like eight bucks for each each box yeah. as well. So, you know, so we're, we're, we're down to, I mean, I had to start paying for stuff in the other, in other ways, you know, like paying Hulu to be my online service, mm -hmm. but still getting away cheaper, you know. I mean, in the beginning, we kept both services to see that if I could get used to it. It was nothing to I make. I figured it was going to be a real rough go for you, but it wasn't. It was just it you wasn't. Were, you were just confused about where things were and stuff, but that was about it. Yeah. Anybody who's thinking about it, has anybody been thinking about cutting the cord here? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do it. You won't miss it. You will not yeah. miss the cable. Uh, and we got what well, we got. We got uh, Hulu TV, uh, which then gives us like all our local channels and about uh, 85 channels total. Uh, and uh, it's been it's worked out very nicely. Plus, we get uh, the three we get all three Disney organizations as part of the part of the package. You get local uh, broadcast TV. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get all the local channels, everything, okay. all the channels. The only local you got to be able to watch Jeopardy. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. And Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the thing is, the one thing that they didn't do, um, um, they, they they don't do P, they don't do PBS. Yeah. We look at our local oh. PBS channel. Yeah. YouTube TV does, but yes. but no, but you go to you go you can download the PBS app and you can use that to watch your local channels and the shows that they're running. Yeah, yeah, we're not missing anything. No, uh, but uh, and I was glad. I wonder how these companies. I mean, uh, I was a long time Verizon guy. I wonder how they feel about this now that people are leaving them. In fact, well, you, they're giving good deals. Yeah. People well, YouTube, are... YouTube TV, which is another one of the get all the channels that you want services, uh, is being offered now by Verizon. Yeah, they're going to have to do something. They, yeah, they have to do something. Now, granted, they're going to make money still off of you having to have an internet hookup, but you don't have to have what I have. I'm paying $89 a month and I'm getting a gig up and a gig down because I need the speed just for working and sending files back and forth but most people don't need more than the than the minimum uh internet connection they get and i have 400 care. meg huh yeah. i have 400 meg so that's and how much you, how much you pay for that a month um 60 dollars, something like that huh? yeah. See? it's it's great of course i can go up to two gigs if i want to for an extra 25 bucks but nah nah you know I don't need guys. That. I hate to say this. I just had a client message me. They're on their way early, so I gotta say goodbye. I'm so sorry about that. Can't well, wait to see bye. you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Okay. okay. Well, good, good seeing you. Seeing you. Good seeing you, Mike. Peace and love. And uh, when Alex's episode of Letterman podcast comes out, I'll make sure it's on the Facebook and all that. Yeah. So Question, awesome. please. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank love you. All. Bye bye. Talk to you soon. Bye, -bye. bye Mike. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we had a good talk yesterday. That was it. Was a, it was a good one. Yeah. Oh, bless, you. bless you. Is this allergy weather, Marjorie? Allergy, and they're still doing work in our courtyard. Yeah. Forever. Oh. Yeah, I'm watching the guy doing it today, and dust is just flying everywhere. All over the place. Yeah. I mean, if. And the pollen levels are high today. The stuff they've been doing here, I think, could actually kill us. 
Probably. We've been inhaling it for two years. You know. What but, kind of pollen do you get in Harlem? <laughs> Same pollen that you get in Central Park. Yeah, you have some trees. That's true. No, we have lots of trees. <laughs> some trees. Well, this shit, to tell you the story about, and I tried to figure this out. One, one day when we first moved in here, I'm sitting there on the phone to somebody or I'm watching television in the in the kitchen. And all of a sudden, I think I'm seeing something out of the corner of my eye. And I look over and it's a squirrel in my <laughs> dining room just what? standing there looking at me. And I'm going, what the <laughs> hell is that? Well, so obviously, it's a squirrel. So I figured I don't want this squirrel around. So I chase him, and he jumps out the window. Now, they don't die. They don't jump out the window. They just somehow they can crawl down the side of a brick building. Oh, and what happened a week later? And I tried to figure out. He probably came from the park. How did he get here? And they looked over, and there's a whole row of trees down the street. He just went from tree to tree to tree to tree, and then he came. And then he came up and saw my apartment. And went, oh, that looks good. Let me go in and hang out. And by the way, I saw him a day earlier in the apartment because I, I thought I saw something out of the side of my eye, and then I didn't. But I tell wasn't him what happened anymore, to so I thought I was just seeing But Alex, anyway, what? At the pharmacy. Oh no! Let me finish the story. <laughs> so then. I'm watching TV the next night, and they're going, and another big story happening at the CVS pharmacy at Malcolm X Boulevard and 116th Street, in which a squirrel got loose <laughs> from CVS. And I'm going, no way, but I bet that's my squirrel. <laughs> and the squirrels, and the squirrel said, Hey, I'm walking here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> where where are the nuts? <laughs> uh, but it's a true story uh, i mean yes. it, was, it was just strange seeing it. and it was when i first we first moved in here uh i haven't seen a squirrel since mm -hmm. but uh and i i wondered how he got up and people told me they can climb up the sides mm -hmm. of buildings they're yep. they're very good at that so because they're new york squirrels yes <laughs> yeah. yes yeah great they're resourceful yeah I got That's you. my favorite thing to do now. I have this these little bird feeders at my mm -hmm. house, and now I like sit at my table and I like make up pretend conversations they're out there having. <laughs> you know, like there was a little dove sitting on the bird bath, and then this other one came, and the little bird landed on. I was like, "Yo, is this the hot to the party hot tub? <laughs> <laughs> and can I join?" <laughs> I well, I think I think head. Mandy's finally losing her mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I i i sometimes do that i but what i like to do i don't do it with it with the birds and i don't do it with animals but i do do it with people in the park when i'm sitting on a bench and they're walking by and i attribute all kinds of conversations to them mm -hmm. yeah. so it, yeah. yeah yeah but uh that's you sound like you really like your little home you know, I do. I do like beautiful. it. Beautiful. Did you see the pictures? This week? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you. I've got to go. Oh, yeah, I did see them. They were nice. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. But I mean, the pride of home ownership. Yes. You know, for sure. That's somehow the American dream. I've never owned a home. Really? <laughs> How many here own a home? Have owned a home? Len, I'm sure have you one. have. Marjorie owns one right now. I guess I own it by uh, osmosis, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. By osmosis. <laughs> by marriage. Yeah. yeah. I um I never bought a home, uh, and and part of it was because in radio you were constantly you were never you, you felt you were rooted to a spot, but you really weren't. And uh. Uh, when I first moved to Marin, when I first moved to San Francisco a couple of years in, when things were going good, I said to my business manager, uh, I'd like to buy a home. And he said, you don't want home ownership. It's too much trouble. In fact, he rented all the time. And I never did because I felt, well, you know, who knows how secure this job is going to be? And am I going to be here forever? Well, 20 years later, when I would have paid it off, I was still <laughs> in San Francisco one way or another. And uh, so uh, I should have, I should have bought. I really should have, but I never did. So, 
Yeah, and the Bay Area is probably worth 10 times what you would have paid for it. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just had an appraisal on our house, and it's stupid. Mine's stupid. gone up six times, I believe, since I bought it. Six. Yeah, okay, so well, let, me, let me ask you this. Okay, both of you. What was the price when you bought it, and what has it been appraised at now? It's in the San Francisco Bay Area, right? Yep. Well, okay, so first of all, let's go with Lynn. All right, two seventy-five. I bought it. It's worth one point four. Wow! Mm. Wow! Wow! Okay, yeah. now, Brian, what did you buy it for? The bank bought it for me for. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was uh, one point two five, and we just had it appraised at two point five. Wow! Jeez. That's double. Yeah. It, it's in it's in Albany Valley, so and we just had it remodeled, so. Yeah, it's just I can't. I, I'm looking, looking like in Lodi, because I may take over that factory, and it's like brand new houses are five hundred thousand. Three car garage with a pool. Oh, my yeah. God. oh, yeah. Well, that's what I. That's actually what I have. Is three car, five bedroom with a pool. So yeah. But you say it's five hundred thousand. Yeah, five to seven hundred thousand for new builds in Lodi. Yeah, that's Lodi, crazy. and then it's like south of uh, Sacramento. So that's not bad. Oh no! No, and, and Elk Elk Grove is like eight hundred thousand, and those are all new areas. So they have parks, they have schools that are like eight, nine, and ten ranked, and it's just yeah. Well, let me yeah. ask you the important question: Do they have hookers? <laughs> uh, you have to go to Modesto for that. Oh, you know, you know, I, I listened to that Friday show, and you know that one that he said about the best part of sex. That was my favorite joke from him. Oh, so yeah. I, was glad, I was glad you made him say it. Oh, that was Larry Bubbles Brown. Larry. Yeah, the interview. Yeah, that was my favorite sex. joke of his it is all to the leave, time. Is to leave without paying. Yeah. Yeah, he said, but he used to say it a little bit more descriptive. You know, it was about being quiet to put on your clothes and leave before you pay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite line from him. <laughs> yeah. Those he can't he that was he was saying that is one of the lines he doesn't use anymore. Yeah, and then what you said, I was thinking about the same thing. You said, what's the funniest thing about hooker jokes? And I thought the same thing that you said. I said, it's, it's the word. And then when you said, you said, yeah, you thought it was the word hookers is so funny. And that's what I thought, too. Well, hooker in itself is a funny term. It just, yeah. It just is. And and uh, he used to go, hookers? Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? I wonder. Hooker? Hooker? Oh, there was a general. We see, he explained it. <laughs> right, 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 right. That, yeah, uh, civil, civil war, civil war general who liked to keep his troops happy, so uh, he brought in women, and they were called hookers. Right. Yeah, yeah, General Hooker. Do you think <laughs> wonderful if you have the family that General Hooker was part of, <laughs> that you can look at with great fondness upon your your great 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 grandfather uh, as uh, uh, being the way the term hooker came from. <laughs> I have a very vivid memory of my mom and my stepdad when they were dating. Mm -hmm. They were, came home from a movie, like we were just being babysat or whatever. And I asked my future stepfather, I said, what movie did you go to? And he said, the happy hooker. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I asked him what a hooker was and he told me. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> that's did, he, did, he, yeah. did he say nice things about them? He, or did he, he, said, <laughs> he said, it's a woman who makes love to a man for money. And I was like, okay. And I walked away. I was like eight years old. I was now, now, but did, did you wonder as you grew up that, that were you a hooker when you let some guy buy you lunch? I know. You know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. My stepdad was great. He yeah. Was awesome. I will. I, yeah, I will. I will do it for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I so what else? I'm trying to think of what else there's one of, there was one other story I was thinking about and I can't remember it now. But I got in trouble from my mom because my friend and I were laughing and we said, Whore of the jungle, watch out for that tree. You know, like George of the Jungle. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. And, yeah. and and we didn't know and, and my mom says, uh, she says, Do you know what a whore is? And I said, uh no. And she says, then never talk, never say what you don't know. And then they don't. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, so, anyway.
Uh, let me see. Here. <laughs> what else? What else was there? Was was there anything else that happened this week, Marjorie? That we well, we saw a lot of bad movies. Well, wow. what do you mean bad movies? Like what bad movie? Well, that British thing which we well, both didn't that, like. That's a series. It's not a movie. Okay, we saw a lot of bad series and a bad movie. What was the bad movie? The one we saw about the investigator, the detective, oh, Marlo. Marlo, yeah. It was, terrible. It wasn't terrible. It just it wasn't great. Here, here, what I love is I love shows like this. Perry Mason is a pretty good show. Yes. I haven't seen it. And it takes place in LA back in the 30s. 30s. Okay. And uh, it has a real feel to it, you know, of LA and LA landmarks and things like that. And this thing is about LA, but it was filmed in Spain and Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it just didn't have any of that flavor. It didn't have it. If they'd done it in, in if they'd done it in the United States, it probably would have had that flavor. Maybe. And Liam Neeson playing a detective, a hard-boiled detective. Humphrey Bogart was much better. Yes. Did he play Philip Marlowe? Yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. That's who played Philip Marlowe. I was trying to remember who else had played it. Didn't Robert Mitchum play him uh, in a remake? That sounds right. Uh, I think so. You might be right. Or was it Marlowe or was it? Uh, no, I guess it was. Uh, yeah, I guess it was Philip Marlowe. You know. What's Ray the Man other one that we're watching that we like? The other detective one? Well, I said uh, uh, Perry Mason. Perry Mason. Yeah. It's very you good. You said Liam Neeson is in that? Yeah, in uh, yeah, Marlo, what, in Marlo? Marlo? In Marlo. Terrible. Terrible. It, it's just not much of a plot and it's all over the place. And it's, you know, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that hard boiled, you know, detective feel to it. Yes, uh, Vernon. I started watching, I started binge watching actually the, the consultant with Christoph Walt. We tried to watch that. Marjorie hated it. I, I watched like four. It. I watched four episodes, and it's interesting how, you know, when the guy first comes in, you think he's some kind of a gangster taking over this company, and as you get into the storyline, he's really there to to try to turn the company around. Yeah, we well, didn't get that far. I think we didn't get into the second episode. I may go back and watch more of it. Uh, Marjorie sours me on stuff very easily. Oh, and I've vice watched, versa, Alex. I've watched four episodes and I'm into it. So I mean, she watches, she binge watches. Yes, yes. Uh, did you have something, Paula? Yeah, I watched. I watched uh, um, the first uh, in in a really good series. I don't. Uh, I forget. It's MGM Plus, which I don't have. But the this, the first uh, um, um, episode it was uh, Spies in the Family with uh, uh, Spies and a Friend. Friends yeah, uh, and spies. I've two episodes. She you didn't like it? No, did. not at all. It was so slow. I I liked it. It was Damian Lewis and that uh, guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. it reminded me of the the like the Le Carre stuff, the the um Smiley's people and and the, yeah. that, that series. I thought I, it was good. It just I, went back and forth, and it was yeah. just you yeah. Didn't care for it. I didn't. I wasn't that happy with it. Yeah, but I made him download it. <laughs> well, don't say that. Shh. <laughs> but if you go to if you go to a European site like I did, you can get the entire series because it's already run in Europe on uh, on like B BBC or ITV or something like that. And that's what I hate about MGM. Then going an MGM Plus original. Uh, I mean, it was on in England. You know, you didn't produce it, and they didn't. They simply bought the rights to it. And Netflix I, does the same thing. Yep. Uh, Netflix, yeah, they do. No, but they, I can't think of very many things that were ever on Netflix uh, somewhere else before they were on Netflix. Are but you kidding? There were some. There were some. Yeah, but not a great deal, you know. And if it usually if it says it's a Netflix original, well, they didn't they say Peaky Blinders was a Netflix. Yes, original? yeah. Yes. I, I watch it via what the BBC or ITV yeah. or whatever in England. Years ago. Yeah. Britbox. Yeah. Britbox. Yeah. Well, Britbox is what they do is they manage. You know, there's a lot of bad British television. 
<laughs> people don't say that. They go, oh, the British, they make such great. No, they make some really crappy TV at times. But Most they do make good at times. At times. Yeah. What BritBox is, is all the crappy shows, <laughs> is what it is, I think. Because all I've seen is they don't have anything very gripping on there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it is British, so it's got to be good. Marjorie has that thing where she'll watch something that's British, it's horrible, just because it's British. I love the British. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what's terrible. She loves uh, Idris Elba. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah. Who does it? What's terrible yeah. about that? I, I would think, jump no, them in a I, minute. That's that's beautiful, man. That's yeah. not what's yes. terrible. They have this new thing, the latest thing, a Luther movie, hour and a half, two hour movie on uh, Netflix. Yeah, that was that? It is was it good? Ghastly. that good? Ghastly. It is ghastly. <laughs> it's kind of like they said, let's take Luther and try and change him into James Bond. Um, and it comes across like a James Bond movie. Yeah. Not not close. Not close. Not very good. Not very no. Good. But uh, anyway, you know, and uh, let me see here. The, the, the only thing it gets to me most of the time lately, and I'll talk about this because you guys, you know, you all knew Shecky, is occasionally I'll be watching a show and I, I want I got to find out uh, like a super, Superman and Lois, which would be a show he would watch. Yeah, they have changed one of the sons on the show. The actor who plays the son, one of the sons on the show. Mm-hmm. And my immediate thought was, I got to call Shecky and find out what he thinks. Mm-hmm. And then I just, you know, it suddenly hit me. Well, Shecky isn't around anymore. There are all these moments where I would have called him about something. Or wanted to talk to him about something the next time we talked. And I realized, hey, I can't do that. And he'll he'll never see The Last of Us because he was waiting for the last episode to show and then he was going to binge it. And um, which proves to you in life, there are a couple of things. Always tell everybody you know that's close to you how much you love them. That's one. And number two, uh, don't binge watch a show if you can watch it a week at a time because you may not make it to the end. Okay. <laughs> so Words, of I just, huh? Words of wisdom, right? <laughs> Words of wisdom. Yeah. But uh, you know, it uh, it's fun. Anyway, how's how's your lovely daughter, Adrian? She just did the dance recital, right, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. She's she's unbelievable. What do you mean? You really? She, yeah, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's just doing really good. And now, like, this stuff that pops up, you know, uh, yeah, it just shows how good she's doing. So, yeah. And then in school, she's just everything in life right now is really good. So she's yeah. good. She, she's a good student in school, right? Yeah, she's really good. She always helps everybody out. And when we, I mean, I take her to dance, you know, three times a week and we talk, you know, she wants to go on my phone. I said, no, we talk. So we talk about stuff and she has a very kind heart. She understands a lot of stuff going on in the world with people and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really happy. I couldn't be happier. Parent, Brian. I You're love how you parent. call her your little co-pilot. I think that's great. <laughs> yeah. Loves, she loves going out with me. She loves, she gets mad at me when I go out with my friends at night because I go to the bar and <laughs> can't mm-hmm. go. <laughs> but yeah, no, she, she's doing outstanding. So I'm really happy. And, and you know, she's tall, so. A lot of people think that she's older and she has pictures with all the 10 year olds and she's just as tall as them. So people think that she's that advanced, but then she starts dancing and then she catches on really quick. I mean, that the scholarship she got were from the teachers. They vote on the top dancers. So uh, how old is she? She just turned seven. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, In October. So she's only, she's only about five years away from uh, having to keep a, baseball bat by the door <laughs> i think she's gonna be able to beat up kids not me <laughs> <She'll take them. laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah i got her pictures up i got her pictures on my door you know? yeah so, yeah so i mean she's uh she's uh, she's great you know but yeah. she, she doesn't seem to come on the show that much anymore like she has no use for us any longer yeah. <laughs> we're all people you know, you know, and then she she's on YouTube, but she watches these educational things. Mm-hmm. She goes on my phone and on her iPad for games, but the games she plays are like they ask a question like name a vegetable. And then you have to type in 
a long worded vegetable to get more points. And then mm -hmm. there's another question that comes up. So she types all that stuff her own. So, I mean, her vocabulary and what, kind of, it, it, what kind of kid is she that at her age, she isn't watching porn. Come on. <laughs> She is, she is almighty. I, yeah. I'm taking notes and I'm going to say how bad Uncle Alex was. Uh, like yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, all of you, I love this. You know, this is uh, this is the time of the week I just enjoy. It's uh, it, it's easy peasy. It's everybody just liking each other. And uh, I've got to thank uh, 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 Brian for being here. And I got to thank Charlie for being here. And of course, Paula, as always, out there in Akron. Uh, also, uh, Len Lafrisco. Thank you so Good. much, Len. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Charlene, nice to see you again this week. Marjorie, I can't say as much for you. He's oh, <laughs> a brave man. I love you. I love you, dear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't we, when are we getting another walk in the park with you guys? Yeah, I was just yeah. about that. Oh, I, I have a new camera. He has a new camera, so we can do oh, that. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. GoPro? No, this is a, a Sony. This is this is oh. really a very good uh, nice. uh, thing. Now yeah. we get to throw up in 4K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all that stuff. It's got this fluffy little mic guest uh, cover up here. Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? I got it uh, about a what last Friday, I think it was. No, where so, Amazon? I, I had to get it third. B and H, B and H, and H of course. I had, I had to get it a Thursday because B and H would be closed on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but I got to tell you, you know, uh, I don't want to do a commercial for B and H here, but I do have to say that they, uh, they're Impressive. they're like yids from you know Brooklyn or whatever. They're they're all wearing the the, the 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 long coats and I see them up. yeah i see them and then some of the people who work there aren't i've never had an unpleasant experience at this place i've heard nothing that. but a great really uh, positive experience of buying something there and uh and their I, prices are unbeatable absolutely they unbeatable. really are they really are and they're good they're really good and finally <laughs> Last but not least, <clears throat> Edward Berger is going to sign us off by saying, That's all, folks. Bye bye, everybody. I'll see you. Thank you. Hey, Brian's home. Bye. Peace. Bye. <laughs>